CC Cross Blur can be found under the Blur and Sharpen category and allows us to blur our image on the X and Y axis and does something a little bit unique where we can choose how these two blurs are blending together. So it's currently set to a transfer mode of a blend, but I could change this to say add to make the overlapping pixels much brighter. So we're kind of getting a star glow type of effect here. You could also change it to screen to be a little less dramatic or multiply if that's something that we were after. Any of these blend modes work the same way as they do down here. We also have the ability to repeat edge pixels, which doesn't affect my logo at all, but if I were to instead apply this effect to an adjustment layer and blur it out, you can see that we now have semi-transparent pixels around the edge of the frame. Just check that box on and it'll fill in those semi-transparent pixels. Now, one way that you could use this effect is by duplicating your layer, taking the effect off of the original, so I have just my plain logo underneath and I have my affected layer with the CC cross blur applied. And I'm going to just add a fill effect to change the color before the blur and make it something bright and maybe yellowy. Click OK and then change the transfer mode to add as well as changing the blending mode for the layer to add. And now I'm getting this crazy cross blur over the entire image. If I added a simple choker, at the top of my effects stack, I could dial all this back so that I'm getting much smaller glints across my image, and now I have a much more subtle star glow effect. But that's all there is to CC Cross Blur. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you want to support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.